steve cassidy here i want to go through another little example of writing a little python web application using bottle so i'm going to make a new project in pycharm so we want to uh, um, set up a new uh, python file in our project so new Python file, I'm going to call it main.py, and this is going to be where we're going to create our uh, application. And to get started, I'm going to import the bottle library. And I can uh, make my application, and then I can start with my uh, roots. And the uh, uh, first one will just be for the root. And I'm going to then define my procedure that will handle requests that come to the root. Uh, and, and let's just start off with our hello world example that we've uh, looked at in the past. And then we have our uh, if name is main run. So this is our very simple uh, web application and I can run that uh, in this version of Python, the PyCharm I can run that. Oh, I have no bottle installed. So I've got to go and uh, go to my uh, project settings preferences here. I'm going to have to go to my project here, look for the project interpreter and I don't have bottle installed, so I'll, I'll, uh, I'll install bottle. That's now installed, and so that's hearing saying here. I can say OK on that, and uh, let's try rerunning that. And OK, yes, uh, app dot rat. OK, so we're going to, um, we have no uh, an error there saying there is no such thing as root. OK, so now I've got to. Uh, my application is now running on this port, so let's bring our web server in. Um, and we have our hello world example there, so that's all good. Uh, so our little application runs and you can see the requests coming through here. Now hello world is not very interesting and what we really want to do is to uh, produce real web pages. So what I want to introduce is the idea of using page templates. Uh, the page templates in uh, Bottle uh, allow me to write HTML and with sort of little slots in there to um, uh, put little bits of uh, Python data. Uh, so what I'm going to do is create a folder called views in here and then inside that I'm going to make a new HTML file and that's going to be index.html and uh, so that's in the views directory here and PyCharm is quite nice in that it sort of gives me a little boilerplate template there and so what I'm going to do is replace that text with a uh, thing here called title and content and I'm also going to have a h1 here that has title as well now this is the bottle template syntax and this this thing in here is a placeholder for whatever the value of title is when I uh, create this when I render this template uh, so the title will appear there that's in the, uh, the the metadata and here and then this thing content will appear just here so there's my uh, page template I can save that now I need to use that, so I'm going to import the template uh, method or function from there. And instead of returning hello world, I'm going to return the template. And the template I want to actually render is called index. And now I need to provide values for uh, these two uh, variables or two placeholders that I had. So I can say content is this is my first template. Okay, so now I have, um, instead of returning just a simple string, I'm returning whatever the return value of template is. And that's going to go looking for this 
index file, index.html, in the uh, views folder. So it always looks by default in the views folder of your project. Uh, and then it's going to pass these two variables to it, and they will get uh, inserted into the, the, the place there. So let's stop my uh, project running, restart it, and let's go back and let's see what happens. And there you go. So we have now running our little web application uh, and you can see the uh, result there. So we've done the get for the root page and we could actually view the page source here to see uh, what's happened and that is exactly the uh, HTML that was generated here with the variables substituted. So that's a very simple use of templates. Now obviously this is not a very interesting page, it doesn't change at all and uh, you know okay this is the very start of uh, beginning to use page templates. Um, let's go on to a slightly more complex example. I'm going to introduce a little bit of data. So I prepared a little bit of data from, uh, I sort of slipped this from the uh, Rotten Tomatoes website. I have the reviews of a number of movies or the ratings of a number of movies. So uh, Black Panther has a rating of 97% and an income of $108 million and so on for the other movies in this list. So what I want to try and do now is incorporate this data, these movies, into my uh, page template. Now, so the first thing to do is to say, well, how do I actually pass those into this function? Because here I'm passing two variables in. Now, what I could do is add a third variable in here, uh, say movies equals movies, so the value of that variable movies, uh, which is uh, this thing here, uh, which is a global variable. Um, so let's say that, we'll declare it as a global, we're using this global variable movies and referencing it here. Um, so now I'm passing three things into my uh, template and then I can reference that movies variable inside um, the uh, index.html. Uh, so let's do that instead of content now, in fact yeah, I want to actually get rid of this content thing because we're going to generate our content from the uh, movies list instead this time. So instead of the content now, uh, and I'm going to have the title of the page, and then what I'm going to do is I want to make a table. So let's begin by thinking about how we're going to structure this. Uh, we want a table, and that's going to have a head, um, and then a row, and a head. And so the three bits of data that we had were the um, the rating, which is a percentage. We had the um, title, uh, the movie title, and the income. So the amount that it's grossed in the first week. So that's our table heading. Um, and then our table has a, a body. And then we're going to have one or more rows. And each row is going to have um, the um, values from my array. So I'm going to substitute those in to the data. So I'm going to take one row at a time. Now each this data structure movies is a list. So you see the, uh, the square brackets here and each uh, of the entries in the list is a dictionary. You see the curly braces there has a dictionary. Okay so uh, it means that I can actually use the values of those, I'm going to try and use the values of those in here. So what I want to do is uh, I'm going to have the, the title, uh, the rating of this thing would be there and the um, uh, title is going to be there and the uh, income is going to be there, sorry, in is going to be here. Uh, and But we want to repeat this for every row in that um, uh, uh, list. So what I want is a um, for movie in movies I want to uh, do this loop and then I say end. Okay so I'm going to have a for loop inside my template about this um, uh, thing and 
I, uh, I'm going to repeat, I'm going to generate one row of my uh, table for every one of these. Okay, so we're going to repeat this for every row in the um, list of movies. So this movie thing here is going to be one of the uh, elements in this row. It's going to be one of these dictionaries. And so I want to get at the keys. So instead of just using, I can't just use uh, word rating there. I've got to actually access the element in that dictionary and that uses this syntax, right? Movie title and movie income. Okay, so, so now we have, we're accessing the, um, using the key rating uh, here, which is this key here. Uh, the rating, we're going to get the element in this row of the, the um, data in this item in the list to create this row of data here. So we're going to pull out each of those and we're going to see those inside our table. So this for loop will iterate over that list of movies and generate one row for every movie in that list. Okay, so now that's our new bit of code. We're going to call that. We've got the movies here and we've got the title uh, passed in to the index template. So let's see if we can uh, run this, see how this goes. And um, let's try running that. Okay, so here we have now we've got our ratings, uh, titles and income, and then Black Panther and so on. So we've got all of the data has been uh, pasted into there. If we view the page source, you can actually see the table rows have been generated one after another by that for loop. So there's a slightly more complicated, slightly more involved uh, page template that uses a for loop to handle data that has been passed in, uh, structured as a list of dictionaries.